Hello, people of the internet. I'm Kesha, and today I'm going to teach you how to catfish yourself. Throughout the course of my life, I always thought I was decent looking, but when I hit puberty, I was wrong. I mean, look at me. I'm ugly. I'm not as decent looking as I thought I was. This is how I look every day when I go to school. Not that great. And when you look like this, and you see people who look like this, chances are your self-esteem levels are gonna drop. But thankfully, I've learned to love myself, really. Embrace the ugliness. Embrace the spontaneity. -dee -dee. It's spontaneity, you dumbass. Yes, essentially embrace myself. There was a period where I hated makeup and people who did it, but ha, oh, the tables have turned. Basically, today, we're gonna pull off Princess Mia. I'm gonna take this and this and give you a princess. Obviously, it's not gonna be that dramatic and that much of a difference, but we're gonna try. So, like any other girl transformation movies, the main protagonist wears glasses, appears nerdy and awkward and shit, and then she miraculously finds out about this new invention called contact lenses, and now she can see without wearing those big, ugly, bulky glasses, and she has finally glowed up. I am so sorry you had to witness that. And now, onto skincare. And here comes the shitty editing trick. Ooh. Wow. Amazing. I've totally never seen that before. And now she's just applying her skincare. Everything she's using are products from Laneige, which is a Korean skincare brand. I'm feeling kind today, so I listed every product I used right here. And yes, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. And then after that, she jumps straight into makeup. She primes her face using this Aqua Beauty Protecting Mist from a local Indonesian brand called Pixie. After that, she pulls out her photo focus concealer from Wet n Wild to cover up those blemishes and the dark spots. Obviously, she's not gonna leave it like that, so she blends them in. Taking her trusty Healthy Mix foundation from Bourjois, that sounds so bougie, she applies it all over her face using a beauty blender. To create the illusion of a slimmed face, she uses this dual-ended contour stick to contour her face. She proceeds by contouring her jawline, her cheekbones, and her forehead, as well as her nose. She blends them in using her beauty blender and occasionally her fingers. Afterwards, she uses the other side of the stick to highlight her nose. She then pours a shit ton of delicate translucent face powder from Ultima and applies it all over her face, like so. The product is not shown in the shot, but she's bronzing her face, apparently. Because she wants to look sweet, she applies this blusher from Bourjois, again very bougie, all over her cheeks. She then plays around with her shadow palette from Misha to achieve this sunken eye look. She's using these two shades. Also, no, I'm not even gonna try and bother to pronounce these names because I'm gonna end up offending someone for sure. But because I'm very generous, I did show you the shades I used right here. After that, she takes the angled brush and applies the darker shade of the eyeshadow under her eyes. To refine the shape of her eyebrows, she uses this Stay Put Brow Color by Milani. She also combs down her wild eyebrows to achieve the desired shape. Here, she is going to attempt to draw a winged liner using this Hyper Sharp Wing Liner by Maybelline. After two failed attempts, she tries to salvage her look by redoing her eyeshadow. And of course, being the resilient girl she is, she tries again. This time, she succeeds. She applies her favorite Maybelline mascara to elongate her lashes. This is her favorite part, the lips. Firstly, she slathers a fresh layer of intense matte lip cream in the shade 4 Vanity by Makeover across her lips. To achieve an ombre gradient effect, she applies this darker red lipstick from Wet n Wild across the inner part of her lips. And finally, to top it all off, she's using her highlighter powder from Wet n Wild. She applies this product on her cheekbones and on her nose. 
And just like that, she's done with her makeup. She removes her hair clips and artfully dishevels her hair for an effortless final look. Now, time to get rid of those ugly clothes. And hey, that wasn't such a bad transition. The final step for this ultimate girl transformation is curling her hair. You can clearly tell from the messiness of her curls that she's not an expert at this, but she's trying, and that's what matters. Here, she's curling a chunk of hair around her curling iron and releases it slowly, like so. She's so fully engrossed in this hair activity that she doesn't realize that she's completely pulling her face away from the camera. But well, you can't fully blame her. The camera she uses doesn't have a flip screen, so let's let it be. After endless hours of curling, this is her final hair. Not so bad. So, this is the finished look. It's not catfishing in its truest sense, but I definitely look better than before. So yeah, that's a plus. If you enjoy these type of videos, leave a like or subscribe to my channel if you want. <laughs> and leave a comment if you have any suggestions for the next type of videos. See you soon! Thank you for watching! Bye! Hi. <coughs> I'm so sorry. A for effort. I should fucking stop. <gasps> Where am I going with this, honestly? Ow. <laughs>